All right, so Deadline is reporting that Alan Tudyk is going to be in Superman, which I find it hilarious that they say in an undisclosed role because he's already playing Dr. Phosphorus in Creature Commandos. And James Gunn has mentioned that <clears throat> the voice actors in animation will cross over into live action and vice versa. So there's no reason to think that he will not be playing Dr. Phosphorus in Superman. Of course, this would make it a bit of a spoiler, and that's probably why it's saying an undisclosed role. And I'm being generous here that they thought about this. But obviously, if he's playing Dr. Phosphorus in Superman, that means he survives Creature Commandos. Um... Because the theory, at least the one the one I heard from Emergency Awesome, is that just like Suicide Squad, <clears throat> there's going to be mass casualties. But I'm willing to bet that Dr. Phosphorus isn't one of them. Now, David Harbour plays a role in both Marvel and DC. So his character might end up dying in Creature Commandos. But I don't think Alan Tudyk's character is going to die. Especially if the theory plays out that he's going to be Dr. Phosphorus in Superman. Now it's entirely possible that he might play a different role that it, Dr. Phosphorus is just a one-off and that he's going to have a different role. But I don't know. James Gunn doesn't seem to be the kind of person who wants people playing dual roles. So, yeah, yeah. My So that's where I am right now. I'm. He's going to be playing Dr. Phosphorus how it's going to um, work in this movie because we already have Lex Luthor. Um, we have the engineer who's more of an antagonist rather than a villain. Um, so how, will, how would Dr. Phosphorus play in this movie? I mean, unless it's more of a cameo, you know, just, you know, this cameo of Doctor, of Doctor, of Superman doing um, Superman things. And one of them is recapturing Dr. Phosphorus because despite being part of the Creature Commandos, he manages to find himself in jail again. I mean, he is a villain, so. Um, so, yeah, that is... That is my working theory right now. Um, it's Like I said, it's possible that Dr. Phosphorus is a one-off character and that he would be playing an entirely different character in Superman, but I really don't see why they would do that because Dr. Phosphorus is a compelling villain. So, why get rid of him so quickly? Um, I believe that is all I have for this video. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.